In this video, you will learn how to use our dot grid journal tool. To get to the tool, click on interior tools and select dot grid journal tool. This will bring up the tool page for the dot grid journals. On this page, you can set any of these options and get a preview of what your page is going, going to look like before you download your PDF. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select your trim size. You can pick from any of the trim sizes that are available on KDP. I'm going to stick with the 5 by 8 for this example. The next thing you're going to do is figure out how many pages you want. If your book has less than 100 pages, you're not able to, to put text on the spine. So I'm going to stick with 100 pages. You can also decide whether you want to have full bleed or not. So without the full bleed, as you can see, the dots don't appear in the margins. If you select full bleed, then the dots go all the way to the edge of the page. The next thing you can select is the dot size. So these are in inches. The 0.02 inches is this is what the dots look like. Let's double that in size just for example. Put 0.04 and now the dots are much bigger. Another thing you can select is how far apart your dots are in inches. And this number will tell you how far it is from one edge of the dot to the next dot. So let's make this twice as big and go with 0.4. As you can see, the dots are much further away. You can also select the dots color. Now, maybe sometimes you want really dark dots, and maybe sometimes you want very light dots. Uh, another thing you can do is decide how much of the page you want to fill with the dots. So maybe I only want 75% of the page. You could also do, let's say, half the page. Now you just have half the page. Maybe people want to draw on the top and write text on the bottom. Or... Next, I want to demonstrate the isometric feature. So for this feature, it just turns it into an isometric page. Once you have the PDF the way you want it, click on the Download PDF button. The PDF will be downloaded. And there it is. And I can open it. And here's my PDF. Let's see if I can make it smaller. There we go. And there's 100 pages. So I'll have all exactly the same. Once you have these 100 pages, you could take it into another editor if you wanted to add a cover page, and you can modify them however you want after that. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, go on our Facebook page, and we'll be happy to answer any of them or contact us through our contact form.